Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The market on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team just keeps dropping. And I wanna talk about why we saw the market drop yesterday on Saturday and what kind of supply, again, makes this market move, especially when we have SBCs that give out tradable packs. With the way the pack weight is this year and packs so juiced, right? Pack weight is so high compared to previous FIFAs, and we've continually talked about this over the first two to three weeks of this game, but it's still impacting the market each and every day, and especially on the weekends with promo packs. You see a lot of these prices crashing because of supply. That's the main reason we saw prices crash yesterday with the Fakir SBC giving out tradable packs, a tradable pack supply SBC. I want to talk about all that stuff that happened along with the promo packs that were dropped yesterday as well. I also want to speak on how you can use this supply and these kind of panic selling periods just like we did last night. If you heard what we talked about in yesterday's video, Friday night's video heading into Saturday morning, you could you could have found some low prices Friday night into to Saturday. The same thing is going to happen tonight, Saturday night into Sunday morning. You're going to see some cards get really low and start to go back up. You see my coin total. I've already spent some coins on some cards that I thought were really low that I think are gonna rebound. So we're gonna talk about some overnight flipping methods on promo weekends, especially with the new promo cards as well. But again, let's talk about why this market crashed yesterday even further, right? And it was a lot of the supply coming into this game that crashed the market. First things first, this Fakir SBC is an awesome SBC in my opinion. Very linkable card. Real Betis right now in the Europa League are sitting on two wins, six points in their group. The chances that they get out are extremely high. The chances that they might win three out of their next four games Probably pretty high as well, so this Fakir might be in for not one upgrade, but two upgrades in the next couple months as these Road to the Knockout cards, you know, get closer to that end goal of getting to the knockout. So I think this SBC for the links, for the card that he is, finesse shot trait, chip shot, he's got so many traits, he's got a really, really stacked looking card, 4 star, 4 star, high medium. He's a good card. He's really good. I was using his gold card in my team. If you guys saw my tweet, I did this SBC. I think it was really good value. But this SBC is part of the reason why the market dropped off yesterday, and I want to talk about why. First thing is, if people were selling, if people were doing this SBC today, which a lot of people did, uh, they were probably selling some other cards in their team to, to replace him with, right? Does that make sense? Like people maybe had Bruno Fernandez as their center attacking mid, linking to some other players. Maybe they sold that card or they sold informed to pie, right? We saw some center attacking mids and, and, you know, center forwards, those types of players drop on the market yesterday because of this Fakir SBC. And the reason, again, why the market crashed with this supply yesterday is because we had tradable packs that came from this Fakir SBC. If you did Fakir, you got two pretty solid packs back. And we also had an SBC called the Underdogs, which gave out a jumbo premium gold pack all tradable, right? And that's the key. That is why you saw prices drop on this game yesterday is you had that you had a very popular SBC which gave out these two packs right here, a small prime gold players pack, which is what I packed R9 of, by the way. I packed R9 out of that pack, and then also a small gold players pack, tradable, right? Those are pretty good. We had that other pack supply SBC and we had 25k and 35k packs in the actual store as promo packs. So there was a lot of supply yesterday and a lot of people opening these packs, which I'm gonna open my Fakir packs right now because some it seems that these SBC packs is your juice and we have a walkout, who is this? It is going to be Immobile, let's go, 87 rated, we take those. But I'm seeing so many people pack insane things from these packs, from doing an SBC, they get insane cards back from it, which I'm, I'm down for Immobile. I'm probably just gonna take the cash on him I don't really um, need the fodder at the moment, and I'll take, what is he, probably like 7,000 coins. I'll take that, right? But I'm hearing people packing promo cards out of these, so that's why you saw a lot of the market drop yesterday. I get a walkout, and I get boards. Who's this? Lamar 83W, right? Those are pretty solid packs back, right? And a lot of people packed stuff yesterday, and since so many people did that SBC, that's why you saw the market drop off a decent amount, right? It was because of that all that supply that was happening on the game yesterday. So that is the number one thing that happened, right? Now let's look at some price drops because you're like, man, Nate, what, what kind of cards dropped yesterday? We talked about Bruno Fernandez, right? Take a look at this guy. Yesterday started off, hit a peak of 100 and, you know, 112,000 coins. He is now down 20K basically, almost to 90, 94,000 coins, 95K. 
big drop on Bruno Fernandez. If basically, if you look across this entire market, anything that is not um, like La Liga that has links to the new Fakir card is down a ton. I was buying Alfonso Davies cards on Friday night into Saturday. I bought him right here at 48k. I sold most of mine at 51, 52, 53k. He is now down to 41,000 coins, right? That's a huge drop on Alfonso Davies. I mean, you take a look across. Ben Yedder's 18K. He was 29,000 coins yesterday. Crazy drop on his card. I mean, there's so many insane examples of cards that just got absolutely killed yesterday. Dybala. Take a look at this. Another center forward striker, center attacking mid type card people use up at 24,000 coins all the way down to 16K where he is right now. So a lot of your market, unless it was really, really high tier cards, right? I look at like Neymar and Mbappe. Mbappe at the moment is definitely up. He's almost 1.7 mil for this Mbappe. What's happening is these lower tier cards are just getting packed and packed and packed and they're dropping in price because people are selling some of them to go put new cards in their team and it's just that supply that is insane. So that is again why you saw the market drop off so much yesterday. The team of the week actually dropped off a little bit more too. We thought the team of the week was stupid low. Um, Rafinha was in the 40s. Uh, Teo Hernandez was like 200k flat. Again, Depay is down like 10k because again, he got a, a substitution for his card came out in the game yesterday with Fakir. Uh, Lozano is down even more. Navas, Romero, they're both down even more. Keep an eye on this team of the week though because I think you're going to see a lot of this stuff start to rise uh, as you know the supply is ending, right? Today on Sunday is like the last day of promo packs for a promo like this where they're going to put a lot of promo packs in the store. They'll probably put a few out during the week, um, but it's going to be the last day with the big promo packs with a lot of supply today on Sunday. So a lot of people are going to start investing in that team of the week because they think the supply is going to dry up and they think those prices are going to be on the rise. So what I want to talk about again today is we, we actually have squad battle rewards um, coming out very soon. I know it doesn't show here anymore, but squad battle rewards come out early Sunday mornings now. That could be a little bit of supply for this market. But again, I want to talk about this this trading, this this short-term flipping, overnight flipping with the brand new promo cards. This is something that happens a ton and a lot of people like to trade in this manner with these new cards that come out in the game. So let's talk about that a little bit too because this is something that I'm actually doing tonight. From Saturday into Sunday, we're giving this a shot, right? Here's Tonali. So we take a look. Tonali came out in packs. He was 150, 160K, dropped down to 140 Late night, he dropped into the low 140s, 142. People wake up in the morning UK time and they want to try this card out. They want to try out the brand new promo card. He's really hyped, really usable. A lot of Serie A links right now are very popular. This Tonali goes from 140K all the way up to 170. Drops back down with the supply to 126, right? So we might be looking at a card like this to go up again this morning. Let's take a look at another example. Um, Leroy Sané, he is back to 400,000 coins. What did he do from Friday night into Saturday? Friday night, late, early Saturday morning, he's 400,000 coins on the PlayStation. Rises all the way up to 473. Now you don't see as big a rise on the Xbox for a lot of these cards. It's, it usually works the best for PlayStation, but it does work on Xbox, so just kind of beware there. But you can see these graphs, right? Rodrigo went to 300,000 coins on both consoles, and he rose back to 315, which isn't really a, that big of a rise on Xbox, but he went to 330 on the PS. So just be careful with this if you're doing it on Xbox. It only You, you have to be really careful with the cards you do this with. You got to make sure that there's not a lot of supply. Like Sonaldo, I actually purchased a Hyunmin Sun tonight for 1.04 mil. He's already up to 1.1, just because look what happened with this card yesterday. He went down to 1.1 mil and then spiked to 1.27. He really didn't move that much. He was a million coins on the Xbox and went up to about 1.06. So if you got a couple undercuts and maybe a high sale there, it worked pretty good. But that's what these fluctuations, if you're on um, PlayStation, it works the best. Um, you see these cards get really low in the early morning hours. And then as they rise up into the daytime, uh, you see a lot of people get on FIFA, play weekend league games, and try these cards out. So that's the kind of the overnight flipping method. Now I want to talk about how it usually works the best Friday night into Saturday morning because you have the most people playing weekend league and uh, that's usually just the day that it works. It works the best with rare promo cards. And as we talked about in yesterday's video too, these cards 
are a lot more rare than ones to watches just off based off the pack weight in the store, right? These guys have like less than 1% chance out of a 25K pack, whereas a lot of the ones to watches had like a 2.5% chance out of those same 25k packs. So when you're looking at these cards to flip overnight, one thing you wanna look for is rarity, right? So right now, Tanali is 120k. He was 140k during the day yesterday, and we saw his rise last night to this morning go from like, um, let's say it was 144 to 167, right? So that was about a 20k jump. I'm gonna see, he's 123 right now. I'm gonna see how many pages of supply we have to 142,000 coins. I'm gonna go back. Here, we're gonna see two pages, three pages, four, five, okay. Now this is a lower rated card, it's very popular and it's not that expensive. So you can deal with a little bit of extra supply just because a lot of people wanna use this card. But the key here is to check the overnights. Look how many of these are listed at 129 that are second owner tradable. This is a trader right here, right? When you see second owner tradable, no games played, that is somebody that's trying to flip this card for a profit. And you see you see how many pages? We got, we got to the 59th minute in 10 pages. How many pages of cards do we have after the 59th minute, which is people technically listing for that rise overnight that we saw yesterday? You have another nine pages. That does not make me wanna to try to flip this card. Look at all these listings here, 139 second owner tradable up for nine hours, right? Here's another one, a second owner tradable card. I don't like this, right? You can even sell. They're all listed at the same hour mark. This is somebody who bought these Tonalis probably at 120K and they're trying to flip them for 140 in the morning. You see there's like five of them right here, four or five of them all listed at the same time. They're all second owner tradable. So I'm gonna stay away from Tonali tonight. Now, one card that I've already purchased that I told you is Hyun Min Sun. Now this card is super duper rare. And he is already up in price from where I got him at. He got really low an hour ago. Right now, he is 1.1 mil. And I bought him at 1.04 because, look, if, if I search 1.15, there are basically six cards here at 1.15 mil, and only two of those are overnights, right? So this Sun card this morning on into Sunday, we might see a crazy, crazy high reach on this card. Mine is fresh. This one right here is 1.1, not even fresh at 115. I'm probably gonna list my Sonaldo at like 1.17 and see if I can get out on that card. Now again, let's do one more example that's not super duper expensive. Leroy Sané. This guy's about what, 400,000 coins? Yesterday he went from, uh, what do we see, 400K to like 440? Is that where he went? Let's see, how many pages of Leroy Sané to like 430 today? We have one. Wow, okay, so Sané, Sané is really rare. I like Sané a lot because I know I know that he's a position change. He's only got a two-star weak foot, but he's Bayern. People are gonna try this card out, right? Look how rare he is. We get to the 59th in two pages. We went 30,000 coins up. If you could snag this Leroy Sané under 400K, I think you're gonna be able to get 430,000 coins, and that's that's a decent flip, right? That's, that's not a crazy, crazy... Uh, amount of profit on a flip if you could get him at like 380 and then him going to 430 i would love that um but that's the kind of cards that i would be looking to flip it works the best with the brand new promo items um on those the late nights into the early morning right uh and, but you you can do this at any time during the day i flipped a marquinhos um the brand new marquinhos card there was some panic selling before the content drop yesterday on saturday I bought a Marquinhos at 702 and I sold it at 749 a couple hours later. So that's the kind of flipping that you can do. Now I did this with gold cards as well from Friday night into Saturday because that's been the daily trend. I've got 245,000 coins left at the moment. And what I'm gonna do is show you what I did last night with a couple of these golds and then maybe look for some potential investments that I can do uh, right now, maybe on this video as well for a quick flip. So this De Young last night, was 106, 107K. I bought, I think I got five De Youngs at about 107, 108. I overpaid by a couple thousand coins. Like I, I got paid, I paid 110 for one of them, but it had a shadow on it. So that sold for a couple extra K. 106, this card went to, he went up basically 10,000 coins. That's 5,000 co uh, profit after tax, which is not too bad for a gold card like this De Young, especially considered the links right now that are hyped. We have another card that brings more La Liga hype to the game with this Fakir. You know, if I had more than 200K at the moment, I'd be looking at maybe buying another De Young tonight, try to get one on bid or on snipe close as close to 100K as possible. I see him going maybe to like 117 to 120 even uh, this morning on Sunday, because again, you're still having that weekly demand there. That's what makes these cards rise. And the reason why they, why they drop during that late night hours is because there's less people on, there's less gameplay demand, 
and there's the, all that supply that happened yesterday on Saturday as well that just drops those cards off. So like Kempembe's is 61K. This is a very, look how much this guy fluctuates on a daily graph. Look at the hourly graph, man. Yesterday, Kempembe went from 55K all the way to 61. He was like 63K earlier tonight. Um, so, you know, this card hasn't dropped off that much. He could go higher today on Sunday, but I'm going to hold off there for a moment. Goretzka is one that I flipped last night as well. I bought Goretzka's um, Friday night into Saturday. I bought him like right in here at 144. I think I got a snipe at 140 on one of them. And I actually sold mine at 157. He almost went to 160, uh, but he is down a lot at the moment. And if you're using a Bundesliga team, that's your midfielder. So Ben Yedder dropped a lot today. Keep an eye on him. Uh, Sterling has dropped a lot. Again, try to focus on cards that are very good for linking that people are using right now. Just kind of remember what is the hype nations or the hype leagues, right? La Liga is really hype. Bundesliga has some decent cards out right now. There's a, little, a bit of Serie A hype still as well. I bought Dybala's last night at 20,500 coins a piece. Sold most of them at 25. Um, yeah, there's a Dybala's couple at 23, 25. There's my Goretzka that I got out at, at 160. Now, I did buy some Davies. I bought 15 Davies last night. And I sold a couple of them at like 54K, 52K. And then a lot of them I had to sell at 49 because his price started dropping off pretty fast. So that one wasn't the best move. And you have to make sure that you list these cards up overnight, right? Like for my Sonaldo that I bought, or uh, I also bought a Rodrigo for 299,000 coins. I think that Rodrigo can easily hit about 3.30 this morning um, because he just has, he just does not have a lot of supply. Boom. I go one page, two page. There's three pages of Rodrigo. I really think that he can get up to 330,000 coins. And that's just around 15K profit after tax. And again, I bought this at 299, which right now he's 305. Not a bad start. But, um, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to list these overnight. I'm going to probably list them for like 330, 337. So they expire in the next six hours. When I get up, I'll check them again, see where his price is at, and probably get out of those cards then. So that's kind of the way that you can flip these cards overnight. Again, it, it worked really, really well from Friday night into Saturday. It might not work as well today from Saturday into Sunday, but this is a trend that you can do on the weekends with gold cards, right? You, again, we just showed you with golds. You don't have to be doing it with these crazy expensive brand new promo cards as well. Uh, wow, Sonaldo is back to 1.12. So I'm already, I'm already basically in after tax, 40K profit after tax at the moment with how much that Sun card has risen up. That's a GG. But again, go, go and look at some of these gold cards. Like we looked at Ben Yedder. I'm actually gonna buy a Ben Yedder right now because I think that he is too cheap and I don't wanna make, I wanna make sure that his price does not uh, start to rise too much. I would really love to see Ben Yedder at like 22. Ooh, that one had a Hunter Kemp style on it. Yeah, I was gonna miss that. I would love to see Ben Yedder like 21 or 22,000 coins. I know his card is getting packed a lot. I know people might be upgrading past this Ben Yedder card as a striker in their FIFA Ultimate teams. That's one thing to keep in mind as well. Yeah, Ben Yedder's going up, man. He was literally just 18K and now he's up to 19. So maybe I can snag a couple bids. Maybe I can snag a bid or two at the 18K mark or so, but make sure you're trying to buy cards and getting cards that are um, still very usable. And that people are like, don't be trying to do these flips with, you know, like um, gold cards, like maybe gold Rudiger. He's probably not going to move that much on the market, right? You're going to want to really try to find some of these players that are still very valuable for a lot of people that are building up their squads, playing the weekend league. And doing stuff like that so that's kind of the overnight flipping method and i wanted to spend some time talking about it in today's video because it's very very profitable right i did it last night and made i mean just off of these few cards without the alfonso davies with these de youngs right here i was making about five to six thousand coins actually seven thousand coins on some of them per card times five that's right it's like a 30 30 to 35k profit there my goretzka's both got me almost 10k profit a piece so that's like 50K. The Dabalas are basically another, you know, probably 15 to 20K profit. So we made a nice chunk of money last night with these flips. Uh, and then tonight we're going to look to do it again. We're going to look to do it again with these Rodrigos, with this Sonaldo that I got at 1.04. So of course, you have to really read the market and look at bids, right? Because at late night, the market gets very rare and that is why this is, is profitable and that's why it works. But I just wanted to explain that again to you guys so that you understand how it works, how you can do it and how you can make some coins on this game. Again, focus on popular, meta and rarity, right? Those are the three main things that we talk about all the time when flipping cards. Now, I wanna talk a little bit about today on Sunday as well. We should have our last promo packs today. 
You'll probably see a little bit of supply. I don't know about an SBC. I think that since we've had two player SBCs, that's probably, I don't know if we will get another one today, potentially a third player SBC. Uh, I think what's more likely is an objective though. I believe we got Clivert last Sunday. So we had, we had um, an, an objective on Friday and Sunday last week. So I think that maybe today on Sunday as well, we would see another road to the final objective card, which again, if it's a really good item that has potential to upgrade and has really good stats on the boost that it's given already, keep an eye on that card for those link investments that can make it rise. And of course, substitutions, right? Again, like Depay and a lot of center attacking mids fell yesterday on the market because of Fakir. Same thing, right? If we get a left back, a French left back, maybe maybe you see Teo Hernandez drop, maybe you see Ferlin Mendy drop a little bit, right? That's just an example, not a leak or anything like that. But that's kind of what's going on with the market. I know some of you guys might be upset because you're losing coins. And that's just the way the market is this year. It is set up for cards to be cheaper than ever. Uh, dude, I cannot believe that this Upamecano center back card, this guy's 4,000 coins. This guy is a beast. He's absolutely insane, right? Lacroix, who was once once 40,000 coins. This guy's 15K. 15, 14. Wait, wait, wait. I'm way off here. Lacroix is 12K? 11K. See, look, this guy's even lower than when I last looked, bro. 11K for Lacroix right now on this game. He was once 40,000 coins. The pack supply this year is insane. A lot of these cards are just going to continue dropping as they get supplied more. But that's why we trade with them on the weekly and fluctuation trade with them like this so that we can still make coins when maybe some of the cards in our team are maybe losing a little bit of their value as we keep them. I bought a Lacroix for my team tonight at 11K and he's probably not going to leave, right? Maybe in two weeks, Lacroix is going to be 5,000 coins. I don't care. He's still going to be in my team because 11K for me is just fine, right? I don't mind spending that much on the squad. So that is today's video, boys. I hope it was very helpful in explaining why this market is dropping, but also how you can make some trades while this stuff is going down, how you can continue to work this market and learn those overnight fluctuation trading methods to make some profit during this time. Hopefully we get a good objective today and some other good content today on FIFA. I'll be streaming live twitch.tv slash the foot account and make sure you check that link out. Check all the links down below in the description, of course, as always. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.